doing a tutorial on this look right here on my face. Um, I really like how it turned out. I used the Urban Decay Electric Palette today. Um, I know that this is like two years old and I'm finally getting it, but um, you know, who cares? <laughs> um, it is literally like the most beautiful palette. I love it so much and I really like how my look turned out today. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how I got this look, then keep watching. Okay, so starting off, um, just to make sure that I have a nice base to begin with, I moisturized my skin with my Pons Crema S Nourishing Moisturizer. I used my Nourish Organic Renewing Avocado Eye Cream. And then I primed with my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer. So, yeah. So, um, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I am done with my eyebrows, I'm going to start on my eyes. So, um, I like to do my eyes first whenever I'm going to be doing like a bright or like a dark look. If I'm just going to be doing like an everyday neutral look, then I'll go ahead and do my face first. But um, whenever I'm expecting any fallout, I definitely want to do my eyes first. So, yeah. So, um, first I'm going to be taking the white shade from this Wet n Wild um, little palette and I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to apply that to like my brow bone and in my crease um, just so that when I do apply more shadows to my crease that they have something to blend into instead of just blending into my primer which can sometimes make it difficult to blend so that's why I'm doing that and the reason why I'm using white is because I'm extremely pale so this is the only thing really lighter than my skin. <laughs> um, so. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking Anaheim from my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. Um, it's just a like cooler, neutral, light brown shade. And I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease. Okay, so now that I have a nice transition color laid down in my crease, um, now I'm going to start applying the color. So today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do something really fun and bright today. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to kind of wing it. So yeah, I think I'm going to do like, um, like maybe a pink and purple look. I think that'll be pretty. So I'm going to take this lighter color, I'm going to take Jolted, and actually <laughs> I'm going to take Savage, this is the, the pink, the hot pink. I'm thinking I'm going to do pink and then purple, so like a pink to purple ombre, I think would be really pretty. So I'm going to take just a, a brush and I'm going to take a bit of that Savage color, and I'm going to apply it up here in my crease. Actually, I'm going to blend this throughout my whole crease. That's what I've decided. I am all in a crease, eh? And I definitely want to make sure I get it down to my inner corner. This is my first time using any of these colors, so wish me luck. Pink doesn't seem to be wanting to blend that well, but it is a highly pigmented color, so I would expect that. I'm just gonna take it on my finger. Oh. Um, yeah, that's literally so pigmented. 
and I'm going to I'm gonna put that in like on the inner half. I'm not, I'm not gonna go all the way in because I'm gonna put another color here, but um, yeah. So then I'm just going to pick up a little more and blend it out higher. That makes sense. So now on a clean brush, I'm going to take some of Jilted. And I'm going to put that on my outer crease to deepen it up a bit. Okay, that's a little much. Blend that out. Oh my gosh, I think that's too much, yeah. I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and blend that. Okay, I'm then going to pick up Jilted with my finger. I'm gonna apply that to the middle of my lid. This is gonna be like the transition from the pink to the dark purple that I'm gonna use. But it's kind of not really doing anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go straight for Urban, the dark purple. Wow, my fingers look weird. Ignore my nails, by the way. And I'm going to apply that to my outer corner. I know I am so professional using my fingers, but um, that's what you get. <sighs> And then I'm going to take the brush that I used Jilted on and I'm going to dip it into Urban very light, lightly this time. Literally, like, I'm going to barely touch it. And then I'm going to tap it as well. And I'm going to use that to blend my outer corner out. I just repeated the steps on the other eye and yeah so that is gonna be my eye makeup look um, I am gonna add some more after I do my foundation and stuff but um and I also went over with the pink and the purple um, back and forth to ombre it out a little more and yeah so I really like how it turned out so now I'm gonna start on my face so my hands are pretty much stained <laughs> And there was a little bit of fallout, so I'm just going to use a makeup remover to get rid of that. Then I'm just going to use a damp sponge to blend that out. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Conceal, and I'm going to apply a little bit to the back of my hands. And then I'm going to use this concealer brush. To conceal under my eyes and any other little spots that I might need concealing. Wow, this looks like shit. Actually, I'm gonna use my fingers to do this. And then I'm going to really straighten up that line very carefully. I'm sorry I keep blocking with the mirror. <laughs> then I'm just going to take my the same sponge and blend that out. Okay, so now that I have done my foundation and I have concealed, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender thing and I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me oh my Maybelline Fit Me set and smooth powder and I'm going to use that to set under my eyes taking the same powder and a uh, duo fiber 
powder brush. I'm just going to use that to set the rest of my face. Okay, so now I am going to be doing my lower lash line. So I'm going to be taking Jilted, that's the lighter purple. I'm going to be taking it on this flat brush. This is actually the brush that came with it. Excuse me. And I'm going to shade that under my lash line. Then I'm going to take Savage, the pink color, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to take my e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black, and I'm going to take my Ingold eyeliner brush, and I'm just going to do a wing. But before I do the wing, I'm going to do my inner corner. Okay, so now that I have lined my eyes, I'm going to be taking, I really don't know if I want, yeah, whatever. I'm going to be taking my, what is this, L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. And I'm going to be using that to waterline my, ugh. I'm going to be using that on my waterline. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have applied my eyeliner, I'm just going to do my mascara. I'm going to be using my Great Lash, Great Lash, Lots of Lashes. And I already did one eye because my camera shut off, so yeah. Okay, so I applied my mascara. Now I'm going to put some of this uh, Smith's Rosebud Salve. It is a lip moisturizer. It's like a lip balm. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm just going to put some of this on to prepare my lips for when I do my lipstick. Okay, so now I'm going to finish my face. So I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer and my NARS Eda brush contour. Then I'm going to take an angled blush brush and I'm going to use that to blend this out a bit more because it's a little bit harsh. Since, you know, I'm already going all out with the eyes, um, you know, might as well go, go all out with the blush. So, if I can find it. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion, which is this bright-ass bubblegum pink. So, I'm going to just dab into that barely. I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones. I'm 
I'm going to be taking my ColourPop highlighter and stole the show. I'm just going to take that on this little blush brush and I'm just going to highlight. I don't know if it's showing up that well on camera. And apply trap to my lips. So yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I normally would, of course, apply false lashes with such a dramatic look like this, but um, I'm just out of false lashes right now, so we're just going to have to <laughs> to work with my natural lashes today, so yeah. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it a lot. So yeah, talk to you next time. Baby, you're the highlight of my low life